And on that uh, scale, PBS is among the very highest institutions that elicit trust. Why? So um, first, there's such a huge amount to unpack in that report, um, you know, um, and there's so many directions that we could take this conversation. But starting with trust, because I think it is fundamental, um, and I, I think that you know, for us, um, the fact that we are trusted is really rooted in in two fundamental things. Well, I, I would say more than that, obviously. Uh, the mission for us is to treat the people that are consuming our content as citizens and not consumers. Uh, but I think that um, beyond that, our stations were all founded within communities. Um, I don't run a network. I run, in essence, a co-op. All of our stations are individually governed. They're individually managed. They're individually funded at the community level. And I think it's much easier to have distrust of a media organization that is from away than having distrust of a media organization where the head of that company or the reporters are sit standing next to you at your kid's soccer game. Um, I think that the ability to be able to tell community stories has a lot more uh, integrity and authenticity if it comes from people that live within those communities. They understand not only the issues, but they understand the nuance of, of, of it so much better because they're within community. And I would say the third is actually our economic structure. We exist not because of federal support. Uh, we get 15% of our funding from the federal government. That's 1-5%. That money actually goes out to our stations. It doesn't stay in Washington. And it was, uh, it's an important piece, so I don't mean to diminish it, even though it sounds like a small number. Um, it was, it was um, de uh, determined that in this public-private partnership, there were parts of the country that would not be able to afford to sustain a public television or public radio station without some level of, of support. And so I used to run a station. I was the COO of our station in New York City. And the percentage of our budget that was from the federal government was probably about 6%. Um, I, I spend most of my time on the road. Um, and I visit many stations where, particularly they're serving rural communities, that the percentage of their budget that comes from the federal government is closer to 50. But the point is, that, um, and clearly for those stations, if the government funding went away, it would be existential, which is why we fight so hard to try to hold on to it. But the point is, where does the money come from to support public television it, or public radio? It comes from people who are willing to dig down their pockets and write a check and maybe get a tote bag or a mug, um, but hopefully um, feel that they're part of something that is fundamentally important. And I think it's that, and so much of the philanthropy that flows into public television is small dollars. So we are, I think, really a very small d democratic organization. And people are not gonna support an organization they don't trust. And people are not gonna support an organization that is not providing value. So I think that has kept us really very close to our guide star of creating content that we hope, when appropriate, is entertaining, but also educational, inspirational, because people would not support us if we, if we didn't do that.